you are ready and wanting to take thought beyond that which it has been before yes. ready to go to new places yes. or even better ready to catch up with places you've already gone <laughs> that might be the best way of saying it because your life has caused you to carve out a vibrational future well really it's a manifestational future but it's a vibrational reality in other words when we speak of your past present and future we acknowledge that during your past and even your present you are launching vibrational requests forward into your vibrational reality and when you do they become present reality vibrationally speaking so from our vantage point when you ask the answer is so immediately given the solution to your problem is so immediately discovered that what you call your future manifested reality is what we see as your present vibrational reality and today it is our desire to help you to bridge that gap so that you are more often inside your vortex of creation where your reality has already materialized where all of the cooperative components have already been assembled so that you don't feel that lag between wanting and receiving you could do that today if you were vibrationally tuned to your vortex of creation do you know what we mean by this vortex of creation before you were born you were a singular energy you were source energy and a part of that source energy was focused from that non-physical vantage point into this physical body that you now think of primarily as you we don't think of you in your physical body as primarily you we still think of this source energy part of you as primarily you this part of you is helping certainly and this part of you is fundamental to you this part of you is the personality that you know as you but you in your physical body sifting through the contrast and giving birth to new desires you are actually adding to this whole of you to this vibrational version of you that is the reality of you most of our physical humans don't know that your beasts know it there is very little gap or lag between your physical animals and their vibrational reality you call them instinctual especially those in the wild those that you have domesticated begin to act a little bit more like you in that they separate themselves from who they truly are more readily you don't find too many dogs holding a grudge <laughs> but sometimes they do retreat into fear in response to what's going on in their physical environment if they are harshly treated and so forth but physical humans you find so much to fuss and worry about that you often affect a separation it's too strong of word but you get the point a vibrational difference or variance between the source energy vibrational version of you and the physical version of you and when that happens you feel the indicator of that variance in your emotions you get the sense that you have two aspects the source you and the physical you when they are one you are soaring when they are not one you don't feel so good these two vibrational aspects of you when you are in sync when in your physical body you have brought yourself into alignment with your source you feel wonderful and did you hear the precise words that we offered when you bring yourself into alignment with who you really are you will never hear us say when non-physical moves out of the vortex of well-being and aligns itself with your ornery self <laughs> you'll never hear us say that because the source within you will always remain in that pure positive energy place and if you are going to be in sync with source you got to do the moving and it's not a hard thing to do when you realize that source won't get squirrely on you source is not arbitrary source won't be one way one day and another way another day source won't keep amending its constitution source does not continue to be different source does not make up a new rule of the game every day source is consistently 
Lovely source energy, pure, positive love, energy, well-being, offering the vibration to you. So you have only to tune your signal to that. You call that, I want to ground myself. You call it, I want to center myself. You say, I want to get into the zone. We say, we want you to get into the vortex. We say, we want you to practice the art of allowing rather than the art of resistance. We want you to tune in, tap in, turn on to who you really are. You say, I want to be enlivened. We say, you want passion, you want love, you want appreciation. In other words, all those good feeling emotions mean that in this moment of the feeling of feeling positive emotion, you've tuned yourself to the frequency of who you really are by thinking the thought that is active within you in the way and from the perspective, from the vantage point that the source within you does. For example, when you look at someone, anyone, and you appreciate them or love them and you feel that wonderful warm feeling rippling through you that is your confirmation that you're looking at this object of attention in precisely the way source is but when you look at someone and yourself or anyone else and you find fault with them you criticize them or condemn them or fear them or worry about them or feel frustration about them or are angry those negative emotions are your indicator that you're looking at it and you certainly have the right to do it and your opinion matters and it's right that you have one but your opinion differs from the opinion of your source and your guidance is letting you know that your guidance isn't demanding your harmony your guidance is just showing you the vibrational variance in the two vibrational aspects of you and when you get that then you can begin tuning yourself to the frequency of who you really are now there are many benefits to that sometimes we play with our physical friends because there are many things you want that sometimes you feel aren't coming fast enough and we say those things that you want are already vibrationally queued up for you in your vortex of creation and your inner being the source within you is there holding the picture of that steady so that you can tune yourself to it and sometimes we tease our physical friends because they say to us some version of you mean I have to tune myself to feeling good and then I'll get what I want and we say we know it's a terrible price to pay <laughs> to actually have to feel good before what is good can flow steadily and constantly and abundantly into your experience but we so want you to understand that it's already been carved out for you in part before you got here and a great deal of it since you've been here as you've been living life and asking for improvement when someone is rude to you you ask for an improved experience when you're rude you ask for an improved experience when you don't have enough of something you want you ask for an improved experience when you're sick you ask for an improved experience even if you are a one-celled organism you are having a physical experience and exposure to life that is causing you to ask for improvement that's what the evolution of all species is about you see and so when you ask vibrationally and source energy receives the request and knows there is no one you or the one celled organism in a better position to know what would be an improved situation than you out here on this leading edge and therefore when you ask source becomes it We've written a book a few years ago, giving it what we consider to be the best title ever, Ask and It Is Given. A fuller explanation would be ask and the non-physical part of you, the dominant part of you becomes the vibrational equivalent of what you're asking for and hold steady that vibration until you find vibrational alignment with it. Until you pay attention to how you feel, until you care enough to feel good, that you reach for the thought that harmonizes, that blends, that synthesizes, that unites with the vibration of what you've asked for. So when you feel negative emotion about the absence of something you want, it isn't that you don't have that car or that lover or that pile of money or that situation or that 
work environment that you're seeking that's not why you're feeling the negative emotion you're not feeling negative emotion because of the absence of the thing you want or even the event you want or even the experience you want you're feeling negative emotion because of the not allowing the complete blending between you and you you are the creator of you in the car of you in the experience of you in the relationship you can't separate you from what you are creating you are the creator of you and you are the creator of no one other than you you are the creator of you and when life causes you to create something and then you don't go you instead beat the drum of why you need it why you want it how unfair it is that you don't have it yet how others have it and you do not as you hold yourself in awareness of where you stand and therefore deprive yourself of the current awareness of where you want to be you feel that separation and it feels like negative emotion and you call it all kinds of different things but it is always ever and only one thing it is always ever and only one thing it is the indication of your not allowing you to be in your physical body what you in your vibrational body are you in your spiritual body are you in your dominant body are so all day every day your emotions are your indicator of your vibrational relationship between you and you but before you can understand your vibrational relationship you first have to accept that you are vibration and that's not the easiest thing for physical beings to do because you say I don't think I'm vibration my guitar string is my string on my piano is that noise in the air conditioner might be but me I I don't see it I'm so manifested I'm bloody I'm bony I'm fleshy I'm material but I don't get my vibration and we say well pay a little closer attention what you see is an interpretation of vibration because vision is vibration what you hear is vibration oh you sort of get that you've heard about that eardrum and the vibration of it and the child hugging the vacuum cleaner and so forth in other words you hear stories of vibration and you relate it but we want you to know that all of your physical senses are your interpretation of vibration so you poignantly understand your time space reality but you are vibrational beings and if you weren't vibrational beings you would not exist and if you weren't good at being vibrational beings you wouldn't exist in this exaggerated and blissful physical leading edge time space reality form in other words you are vibrational beings and the reason we want to get your attention about that is because you're really good at seeing and hearing and tasting and smelling and touching you get that you haven't thought about it as being you say I think I'll go and vibrationally interpret these roses <laughs> you just stick your nose in and take a big whiff you usually don't understand that your emotions are vibrational indicators either but they are they are the most sophisticated supreme vibrational indicators and what they are indicating is the only thing that ever 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 matters to you they are indicating your relationship with you which is the only thing that is any of your business your relationship with you those that were there when you were born most of them had forgotten that and so they tried to teach you that your most important relationship was with them do what pleases me and life will go better for you so when you see this smile do more of that and when you see this frown back away quickly and if you follow the indicator of pleasing me then you'll be rewarded on the heels of my smiles will come your reward on the heels of my frown will come your punishment and without meaning to they trained you one after the other of them into really caring what they think about you so when you get it that you are vibrational beings and that your emotions are your indicator of your alignment and you mind your own business which means you mind your own gap and you don't put so much weight on what's going on with others and you don't try to please them even if they employ you 
Even if they have some sense of what you call control over you, if you will let go of your desire to please any other and you will replace it with your desire to be in the vortex, we promise you every relationship you have will improve and you will thrive in ways that those not in the vortex cannot even begin to understand.